all right so this is the second video as you guys know that i'm going through or had gone through a breakup and the emotions are backwards like it's been four months now i shouldn't even be four months i should be already up from the ground should not even be in this state but if you go and watch my first video you will know um what i'm talking about yeah so i'm at work and i got people coming in here and it's just <laughs> i'm trying to get through this day you guys i'm trying to get through this day i called him he was at work of course you know that when you call somebody and they can't talk you get even more panicky like because you want to talk to that person even though my mind and my heart are saying two different things my mind is tripping like and my heart is like don't 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 call them just leave just leave them alone leave them alone or whatever but if you're going through a breakup then you know that there are many many stages to this there are many many stages to a actual breakup this wouldn't be my first breakup no but i'm trying to understand how i'm feeling i'm trying to process my emotions and i'm trying to feel the feeling of it i don't want to feel the feeling of it i have no choice but to just be in the cloud that i'm in because that's just the space that i'm in right now and i don't know how to my eyelash keep feeling like it's coming off i don't i don't know how to to, to get myself from this from this space because it's different for me from all my other breakups like you feel it right then and there but this right here i'm feeling it four months out and it's just weird to me and i don't know if this is somebody else's experience or if this is just my experience and my story and it is what the lord will use me in um to help somebody else because the bible says that it's nothing new under the sun and there's a time of grieving and crying and laughing and smiling life and death like all this stuff has its time so with that being said i know that i probably won't be in this actual predicament always it kind of seems to me comment down below if you've been through a breakup before if you're going through a breakup but it almost seems like it's meant for us to be in a relationship with somebody i don't know and when you do break up it just seems like you're better when you find somebody else like it's like all the emotions or whatever you was feeling for that individual is just gone tell me if i'm just if i'm just tripping or whatever because that's what it seems like to me like people can get over people quicker when they just move on faster but i just i refuse to do that i'm i refuse to just jump into something when i know that my intentions wouldn't be to for that person so i don't i don't want to do that like i said on the first video i can't give something that i don't have i'm probably gonna look back at this video and laugh my ass off um but it it is what it is it's my story it's where i'm at now um it's a pivotal moment in my life and i have to pivot out like i just have to pivot out i i it's crazy to me because i don't have answers to how to get out of this like who deals with a breakup four months from the breakup it's just really really weird to me so i know that this will be a powerful testimony in the end I have been praying for something and I wonder if my prayer, if God is, if, if what I pray for, if I'm in it now so that God can use me later. I can't put out what I'm trying to say right now because it's still fresh. It's still a little baby and I don't want to abort my mission, abort what I'm trying to say. So I'm not going to say it right now, but, um, 
it's gonna be part of my testimony it's gonna be big it's what it's, it's something that i have been praying for but anyway um yeah you guys i'm at work and just watching people and it's just like i'm here but i'm not here i don't want to start crying but the tears are there because I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm dealing with. So, and I'm dealing with it by myself because I nobody um, can't tell me if they've been through it before because it kind of just seems foreign when I'm talking about it. Even from the first video, I asked somebody to comment down below and I'm not popular on YouTube, so I'm not thinking that. I don't know if somebody will hear me, if if, I, if it's just regular subscribers watching. Because y'all know me from my videos of Timu and Dollar Tree hauls and stuff like that. But baby, bitch, your girl is going through. And I'm 45, but one thing I will promise myself that this time next year baby i'm not dealing with another heartbreak mm -mm. i'm not i'm not gonna do it i'm not doing it i'm not doing it i'm not gonna do it because it's getting harder and harder to find love as it is so if ain't nobody for real serious about me because i'm learning things about me that i can't do in a relationship as well and um it just hurts because you can't change what it was so you just in your now and it's just time to 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 move on let me leave this man alone i don't have no business for real calling this man it's gonna be a part two of this because there is a reason why i'm calling him but i never really had been on a man like that to where i'm calling them they normally be calling and pursuing the fuck out of me but excuse my language because i really don't cuss but it's how i'm feeling at this moment so don't don't come for me please don't it's just how i'm feeling so anyway just documenting how i feel so that's what i'm doing period